Someone's back in town after spending two weeks on the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my girlfriend here. Yeah. I, and I miss our video, right? It Absolutely. felt weird. Yeah. It always feels weird when we're not here yep. with you. Yep, yep. This whole thing about, I read your blog on the Catholic. <sighs> if you yeah. haven't seen it, and it hasn't gotten a lot of coverage, but a 28-year-old woman <coughs> in Chicago, like not some kind of Midwest or Southern yeah. state, um, went to a hospital her IUD had uh, become dislodged, so it's halfway in and out of her uterus because she fell. She was heavily bleeding, pain, pain in her abdomen. She goes to the hospital, they refuse her treatment. Heavy bleeding. Yeah, like you could bleed to death. She has a metal object stuck, hanging out of her uterus, bleeding. They deny her treatment because it was a non-hormonal copper IUD. Its sole purpose was for birth control, and that's against the Catholic initiative. So all that bullshit about Pope Francis being this progressive, pro-gay, pro-trans. What about pro-woman? How about that? Well, why is it Will that ever happen? Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't care how he feels about trans people, because it's a very small percentage of the population. Very small. 51%! More than half of the population. Womankind. We don't even use the term womankind. No, it's, it's mankind. <laughs> no, it's like it makes it shocks the conscience. It makes me crazy. And so the yeah. ACLU followed, uh, filed suit. But there's another case with a woman that was uh, pregnant and went in, and it was her life for the baby. They wouldn't give her an abortion. No, no, kill the kill the woman, save the baby. Kill the woman, save the future baby. Oh, it's not even a baby yet. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> like, it's nuts. It's shocking. Well, you know, once again, I had this woman write in about she wanted to use the diaphragm, and her doctor says no because it's not 14% failure. Well, the 14% failure is when you've had too much to drink and you forgot to use it, or you think, oh, it's my safe time. I don't. Oh, when you put it in, you've had too much to drink, and you don't make sure there's a good suction on your cervix. And you run your finger over the cervix to make sure that the, the latex is covering it. Which means you have to be in touch with your vagina. Yep, yep. You have to know how to go in, feel around it. Anyway, 14% failure. So even if it failed, you can get the birth... Con the you get abortion by the pill. Really fucked up thing is that one out of six hospital beds in this country is in a Catholic hospital. So depending on where you live, you might not have any choice... <laughs> but to bleed to death, hemorrhage, get an infection, die of sepsis. You know, it's just, we, it, I'm more speechless is the expression. Speechless, absolutely disgusting behavior. You know, I'm not wild about any kind of formal organized religion. But the Catholics they are trying are, to change their image and they're the same old organization. Yep, it doesn't change, no. And it's monstrous. And the Pope can go fuck himself. He's a misogynist. What, you know what they, if the pedophile priest comes in for treatment, are they going to deny him treatment because he's a pedophile on moral grounds? Because that's against the Catholic initiative. I'm not uh, fucking up children for life. Or if a man comes in to the hospital with a priapism, an erection he can't lose, and he's wearing a sheepskin condom, which is only to prevent pregnancy, are you not going to treat him? No, but you, they'll say... No, I can see they'll figure out a way to treat it because it's protection for the STDs. Sheepskin, you can get STDs. Sheepskin is just oh, for... Oh, 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 so that's how much I know about condoms. That was before my time, after my time. I mean, everyone during the sexual revolution, we all had diaphragms. We were in yeah. control of our own birth control. I never got pregnant on a diaphragm, ever. And I'm very fertile. Yes. And so I, are you. I, yeah, I, no, I never got pregnant on a diaphragm except the time I... I didn't put it in. <laughs> and it is so easy, and it ge yeah. gets you out of the medical. Because as soon as you go there, they're going to try to fuck you up. Yeah, yeah. Just stay out of it. Stay away. Take control. <laughs> Take control of your own body. Take control of your own birth control. Take control of your own health. Be your own doctor. Your own Be life. Yes. You, we know more about ourselves than anyone else. So when something goes wrong, what do I think it is? Oh, I think it's the da ba da ba da ba da And that, sure enough, is what it is. The minute you make the appointment with the doctor, 
whatever it is, is gone the next day. <laughs> it's, it's over. So, yeah, we've got to take control of our birth control, take control of our bodies. And, you know, God has blessed Planned Parenthood. Oh, God. If it wasn't for them, there'd really be nothing for us. We, that's where my yeah. money goes. Yeah. And right. the ACLU. Yes. Two organizations that are there for women's rights. Get behind them. Get behind them. And I got, you know, our girlfriends out in Wichita running their clinic. We have to support the clinics. We have yeah. to say that we've had abortions. We have to talk about our birth control. I want to see some celebrity yeah. women do this. Yeah. Women's lives matter. Yep, <laughs> it does. So get that diaphragm and use it. See you later.